excited because I gave my rave bags a makeover. I have two main bags. I have my Dan pack and my fanny pack. I wear my fanny pack more often recently but that's just because a backpack is off you know better for like a festival and so when I go to a concert normally I don't wear a backpack. Sometimes you can't even bring like backpacks in. Uh, mm. <coughs> Here you want to see how I made these beautiful bags then just keep watching because that's what we're about to do. Okay, so first I'm just showing you my two festival bags. I'm actually only gonna be using the black ones you see here. I just wanted to get a good shot of the before. Uh, as you can see, I have a couple pins on my backpack now and then my fanny pack is plain. Um, but other than that, I'm just gonna empty this and we're gonna get the makeover started. So now they're clear and I'm going to start by kind of lining everything up on the backpack the way I want it to look. Um, I didn't have like a solid plan in place, I just was sort of winging it um, and I was going to clean my bags as I went. So that being said, I started by uh, cutting off that thread and then I am now sewing on this blingy chain that I actually got from Wish. Um, it was super cheap on Wish. I'm sure you can get it, you know, craft store, whatever. <laughs> but I had got it on Wish. And so I am just sewing this on. You could totally glue it, I'm sure. Um, but I wanted to sew it on to ensure that it didn't come off or anything. Yeah, so this actually took me quite a while. Uh, I think all in all, the bottom took me about an hour and a half to do um distractions included <laughs> okay so i finished sewing on all of my sparklies and it looks really really good um so that is what it looks like that's what the threading looks like but um from far away you can't see it at all now for the inside so you can see that i hot glued uh just the thread so it doesn't move. I haven't hot glued that corner yet, so I'm gonna hot glue that. Um, and then that just kinda like seals it all in there. Of course it's ugly, but you can't even see it, so I don't care. Um, and then, yeah, cause it's really hard to tie a knot with the thread. So by s putting hot glue, you're basically just like sealing over the thread. That's like what they would do in a factory. <laughs> So I'm gonna hot glue that and then the bottom will be done. While this is drying, I am going to sew basically the same exact thing across the fanny pack zipper right here, uh, just to add something. Or actually, I might put it right here on the bottom. Either way, I'm about to put some on here and then I will show you what I get next with this one. I actually went ahead and measured at the top of this backpack because I'm going to be putting on some diamond trim. I had to measure the top to make sure that it would fit on there perfectly. Um, and so that's what I'm doing now. I'm kind of just making a pattern of that top patch on my backpack. And now I'm taking the diamond stuff, the bling stuff, and I'm just cutting it to shape so that when I glue it on my backpack, uh, it will basically just kind of go on perfectly and I'll have to make like minimal adjustments. I had to make a couple adjustments when I put it on, but it's nice just to do it this way. That way you're not like trying to measure your backpack and it's slipping all over the place. It's just so sparkly and fabulous. Now I'm just lining it up on top to make sure that it fits appropriately and then like I said, I'll make some adjustments as I glue it. Okay, 
here is the Supreme. I don't know if I showed this. Here's the Supreme fanny pack. I just sewed it right here along the zipper in the front. Um, I was going to do it on the edge right here, but I figured that it, when it was like, you know, if it was sideways, it would look weird because this is as far sideways as it goes. So it would just kind of like look weird. So it looks better like that. I went ahead and glued all of this on with E6000. So sparkly, can't even focus. Uh, so I'm going to let this dry overnight. I'm going to sew this on the label tomorrow. That way I don't mess up what I have. That way it's like that, and then that, that, and it kind of draws everything together. And then we will put all the pins and everything on tomorrow. I have had this for so 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 many years so i just recently got a pink one of these and so i'm gonna make a new one for the backpack and then i might put this one on the fanny pack i don't know yet but that's where we're at for tonight so next day report good morning it is the next day and here it is dried it looks amazing it looks so pretty. Look at it. It's so glittery that like the camera can't even focus on it. That's what it looks like. My dog is literally squeaking his toy. Humpy. Uh, really, dude? Go. So here, it, here's what we have so far. Now I'm going to sew the other thing that I was talking about right here across the top. Um, yeah. And then I'll be right back. To decide what we're going to do next. I'm also actually going to bedazzle these zippers right here. I'm going to put like a couple crystals on here. Uh, so we're also going to do that next. So now I am doing exactly what I did on the bottom and I am just sewing that same exact bling stuff onto the bottom of the Dan Pack logo just to kind of tie everything together. It looks like it gets in the way of the zipper but it actually doesn't. So just so you know, uh, if you're wondering, it doesn't get in the way of the zipper. It's like the perfect length and it just kind of stays out of my way and looks fab. Now I'm tying my thread in a knot uh, because I was able to actually get to the thread. I didn't need to put hot glue right here. So I tied it in a knot and then I got rid of the extra thread and that was it for that portion of my bag. And that's what it looks like. I decided to go under the logo because I felt like it looked a little better. That's cute. It's a little, just a little something to kind of tie the top and the bottom together. Next, we're going to be dazzle these zippers. So hopefully that works out. So as you saw at the beginning of my video, I had pins on my bag um, before. So what I'm going to do now is um, make a new version of this because this is so old. And then I'm going to decide what pins are going to go on my backpack and what pins are going to go on my fanny pack. And then I think we'll be done for now. So here is bag number one. I am finished. So as you can see, I put the old little keychain that I made on here because uh, it has lots of good vibes anyway. So I'm not gonna like get rid of it. Um, I can always slide it over there if it's kind of in the way. Um, and then I put this cute pin that I have. I got from Little X Bun. 
it's like little x bun that's literally it on etsy and then i got this pen uh we went on a trip and i got this and then i got this pen from i don't know i think i got it in a doll's kill order but it's like rip and dip and then obviously the bling that i sewed on um sometimes i wear this as a fanny pack and sometimes i wear it like as a crossbody bag like this so it looks really cute um i like it because it's still plain um but now it's a little more personalized so i love how this came out and then obviously the big reveal for the dan pack is here it is so let's just talk about everything um this is my new keychain that i made um so it has this cute little sanrio um i guess you would call it like a squishy i don't i got these on clearance at michael's because i thought they'd be perfect but i don't know if you can see uh the top right there it looks like it's already it looked like it was coming out when i first took it out of the package so i'm gonna have to be careful with this it may eventually come off and then i made these matching little tassels just like my other keychain that i made and i like put this one little bead on here so it would match uh the the little dog perfectly so that's on there on the handle and then obviously the bag just looks like this you've already seen this like 20 times and then i put all my pins on this bag so i just recently this is my newest pin this is my favorite animal crossing character and then i got this from the teddy fresh and rip and dip collaboration this is an insomniac pin i got in my edc tickets last year and my sister got this for me when she went on a road trip with my cousin and then i just bedazzled the zippers put this again little bun uh keychain on here although i might take this off because this makes it a lot easier for people to open your bag um so i don't know how i feel about that i might take it off uh, just gotta be careful they look so good i really really just like i've been wanting to do this for so long so i just feel so satisfied with how they came out they look so good this video thank you so much for watching if you have any questions i think i've said this like four times but if you have any questions leave them down below um and i will answer them and yeah i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching bye okay that's enough horsing around <laughs>